This episode of Primps Hood Cinema is sponsored by The Ridge Wallet, y'all. Shout out to The Ridge, man. They changed the game with these wallets. This is the new standard, basically. They make those crazy little futuristic wallets, if you ever seen them. They're real light, super sleek designs. It's got like an industrial type of feel to it. Everybody love it. Put it in your pocket. It feels good to sit on. Pause. You know what I'm saying, though. It's not all clunky or whatever. It don't fold up all weird in your pocket. Look at my old wallet. Oh my God. Do you think I'm proud of this? You think I like sitting on this? Look at the ends of it. It's all crinkled or whatever. Some McDonald's receipt in here. I don't need this. Why did I put this in here? All these leather and Velcro wallets end up looking like this eventually. You know they do. It's 2020. We gotta stop this. These are legit 90s wallets, bro. The Ridge holds up to 12 cards and it's got room for cash. Get rid of all the clutter and the crinkliness crinkleness. It really does feel stable and secure too. It's made with RFID blocking technology to protect you from scammers trying to scan your cards out in public. That does happen too. That blows my mind. They got little machines where you can just walk up and scan somebody's card through their pants. That's genius. This all blocks you from that. They can't scan the ridges, bro. I ain't having it, bro. Plus it comes with a lifetime warranty so you can seriously keep it your whole life and it won't ever look like this one. They come in over 30 different styles like this carbon fiber one. The burnt titanium one is dope too. I I got the gold one though, cause I felt like that's the most gangsterous color, but that's just me. I'm a big gangster, but do what you want though. There's a bunch of them. They got over 30,000 five-star reviews. Plus along with that lifetime warranty, they will let you test drive the wallet for 45 whole days and give you a full refund if you're not feeling it. Look at all these things they're doing, bro. They believe in these wallets, bro. This is definitely the new wave. We gotta stop with the ugly wallets, man. Go to ridge.com slash prim for 10% off and free shipping and returns worldwide. No matter where you live in the world, they make it easy for you. Go get you a Ridge, man. When you get your next check or whatever, get a Ridge. They nice wallets. Link in the description check them out again rich.com slash prim get the discount free shipping please i'm a good spokesperson please buy a wallet It starts off with this weird Tyrese as a baby scene. What is this, John Singleton? This is weird, bro. You really made this man get naked and cry like a baby? It's real weird, man. I love you though. Rest in peace. Oh, we outside the clinic now. So you see, he was like the baby. It is what it is. Don't be uncomfortable. Anyway, Jody is this young, handsome, dark-skinned nigga here. He like a scrub and shit real bad. He ain't got no job and shit. He real immature, like a baby and bald head, like a baby. Don't believe me. His girlfriend is Taraji P. Henson. She in the movie. She got a kid with Jody already and she be getting cheated on all the time or whatever. She love getting cheated on all the time. It's fucked up though, cause she seems to really have her life together. She got her own car and her own apartment apartment and shit. She got her own generic office cubicle type job. She got this bunch of CDs. Look at this nice ass CD rack shit. This shit nice as fuck. Damn. She could do a lot better though is my point. I mean she shouldn't have to fucking date a baby at least right? I'm just trying to take care of you little woman. Seem like you already done that. Well then I guess you don't mind if I use your card in huh? Since you're going to sleep. What's going down with you? <laughs> this nigga Jody has another kid. He got two kids. He got a daughter. I don't know her name. I honestly kept forgetting this nigga had two kids. He barely interacts with this one the whole movie. That's some real ass shit, actually. That's really how it be. That's fucked up. When you gonna see daddy, huh? You wanna go to Disneyland? Jody's hanging out and he smashes other baby mom while his girlfriend is home recovering from an abortion. Yeah, that type shit. He does shit like that. That's what the movie is. Go ahead and pull a damage out. Real baby. He goes home and talks to his mom or whatever. He lives with his mom. His very young, a very muscular mom is actually the chick from House Party. Remember House Party? Hell no. House Party lady is starting a garden or something. She got a little subplot about a garden. It's real cute. I kind of like it. I'm planting collards, mustard greens, my cabbage is over there, my beans, onions and sage. This is going to be my corn, right? And I'm going to get some of them nice lace awning. This is my friend Melvin. Mama told me you got a problem finding a job. I know how that is. 
Jody mom has this new equally muscular boyfriend named Melvin. Jody's worried that Melvin is a thug ass nigga and he's gonna get him kicked out or whatever. It's really stressing him out. He leaves and he goes to hang out with his best friend, that one nigga from Smart Guy. That's your vet. She's my girlfriend. Man, I feel great. We go back to Taraji P. Henson and she feeling better now. She calls her ratchet ass homegirl. You probably recognize her homegirl. She always a ratchet. She probably an all star. I don't fucking know, man. Sure she is. I hate this joke now. I'm forever up in the clinic. It ain't Jody fault. It take two. Shouldn't stop taking my pills. There you go, blaming yourself again. Oh, wait. Okay, this bitch had pills and actively stopped taking them? Oh yeah, that's 100% your fault. Don't try to blame this nigga, what the fuck? What do you say about y'all getting a place together? Jody don't want to live with me, he want to live with his mama. Then let him fuck his mama then, shit. Have her ass all up at the clinic, shit. <laughs> Jody is in his room building these little model cars or whatever. That's like his hobby. He got hobbies and shit. So he's not all bad, it looks like. He kind of mature. Except this shit never comes up again and nobody ever mentions it. We never see him doing it again. Also, I guess it is kind of a childish hobby a little bit, but whatever. He got a giant mural of Tupac on his wall also. Well, that's not fucking mature. This nigga little kid, bro. Why do bitches be letting him fuck? Seriously. What you talking about? I'm grown out here. He falls asleep under Tupac's face and has this cheesy ass dream sequence you know i used to hate these dream scenes and always thought they were fucking stupid and pointless but i kind of get it now it's really the only time you can show jody being honest with himself this nigga really scared of dying or something and you can't really have him outright say that his character wouldn't really say that so sure dream scenes that's the only way do your fucking stupid dream scene i love you too jody but you really scare me you scare me too <laughs> Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin that boy. Hey, go ahead, call me here, that boy. Please be on time. I'm always on time, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi. Love you. I love you too. You gonna have a good day? Oh my god! CJ! <laughs> Why were all these bitches standing out here together? What were they even waiting for? Were they waiting to watch them kiss? Then they all turn around and walk away directly after? That is hilarious. What is that? <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, this nigga only listened to this one song the whole movie. Mama. Wait a minute, Jody. Holy shit. How do I look? Look at this shit. What you know about this man besides a smile in your face? Is he a killer like Henry? Melvin and Jody's mom are going dancing at some club. It's on Crenshaw. Of course it is. Everything's on Crenshaw. Every movie that's set in LA will name drop this fucking street. Is it a street? It's a whole neighborhood? What is up with this LA niggas? Is it a joke to put everything in or on Crenshaw? Let me know in the comments. My Crenshaw go go Freddy Chinga. Brother. Jody tells Melvin the story about what happened to his brother. He had a brother apparently. Brother. He used to live here too before my mama kicked him out of her last boyfriend. He dead now. All right, y'all so have a good time. You need some money? Got a little change for you. Please, Jody, you ain't got no money. Bring me back a fat burger, mama, on the real. A little cheese, you know how I like it. Go in the house. <laughs> Today I begin a new life. I am the master of my abilities, and today is gonna be a great and beautiful day. Man, what the fuck are you talking about? Jody decides to make a change and a new life or something. I don't know. This nigga's really hurt over that fat burger, I guess. P, you a buyer or a seller? What? Videos, homie. Videos? DVD? CDs? Masterpiece? Look around, man. Look at my man over there selling t shirts. Cake man over there. This whole world moves forward through transactions. Commerce, nigga. Nothing. He gets the random idea to sell clothes and shit on the streets. Clothes? Well, I guess a big part of his life is fucking with bitches. It makes sense. This nigga pretty good at bitches. He probably think about bitches all the time, so he probably know what clothes they'll look good in and shit like that. It's a good idea. Hi. 
My name is Joseph Summers. A lot of my friends call me Jody. I was wondering if I can talk to a few of your customers, show them some of my merchandise. All the bitches go crazy over Joseph Summers and his dresses. Yeah, wait till they find out he be in his fucking room playing with toys and shit all day and watching cartoons like a fucking baby. Papa, your bitch ass ain't gonna do nothing. No, he is smooth as shit in this scene. I can't lie. He finessing the fuck out these dresses. See this? That's your color. You an earth tone woman too, I knew it. I match your hair and everything. All purpose style, all purpose dress. You walk up the street, see anybody with them pants on, baby? You just come bite me. It ain't hot. <laughs> bling, bling. How much? I let it go for about $40. $40? Look, man, $35. That's the lowest I can go. You're killing me. Squeeze my tiny ass up in this. You like this girl? Cute. Yeah, this big ass nigga is not fitting into this shit, bro. I guarantee it. I guess that's the joke. Also, notice how his energy changed up when he was talking to the gay dude. That's kind of fucked up. I'm not saying go flirt with the nigga or nothing, but show some enthusiasm though. That's unprofessional, nigga. Why was niggas so mean to gay people back in the day? What was up with that, old niggas? Let me know in the comments. It's real official. Baby, I got the tinted windows done. I got some tears for my Mexican homies. <laughs> Go in the house. Jody making good money off his dresses, and he got his own funky theme song now. He bought some rims and some tents from his Mexican homie, apparently. Bro, that's not even what you should be buying right now. Get your priorities straight, nigga. Somebody should really tell him about guns and butter at some point. All this shit is very not guns. Oh my god. Want some breakfast? That is amazing. Wow. Like, oh my god. Hey man, I know this not Jody House and shit, but this is still very disrespectful. You know this nigga is here, bro. That's inconsiderate at the very least. It kind of seems like Melvin and the mom are purposely trying to drive him out loud sex and ass naked breakfast and shit. By the way, this nigga Jody is only supposed to be 20 years old in the movie. That's actually not that bad to still live at home. He was 19 years old just a few months ago. I don't know how it was in 2001, but that's kind of expected nowadays almost. I think that age is just weird in general. It's your first couple of adult years and you can't really be expected to have all your shit together off rip. It's a lot of pressure. This poor fucking guy, man. This I switched sides now. I'm on Jody's side now. <laughs> bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin that boy. I'm a man, he give me this TV because I put in some work for him back in the day. He, you know, shot a couple of niggas, cut up some folk. Oh, you smarter than I was when I was your age. Yeah, I gotta hand that to you. You smart, little man. You ain't no killer like me, and that's good. But if you need some advice, feel free to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Jody don't trust Melvin because he a killer like Henry was. He a killer just like Henry was. Again, I'm on Jody's side with this one too. This nigga just casually admitted to being a killer. He changed his life around or whatever and he a business owner so we'll leave him alone. But Jody's mom legit be bringing killers around. That's genuinely concerning. He's not crazy for feeling like this. On the greens, just okay, a little bit more water. With my baby. Bring my grandbaby over here so I can get a kiss goodbye, please. Big good girl. These bitches are so pressed over this bum ass nigga, bro. Super pause on this, but this nigga's stroke game must be fucking phenomenal. This nigga has nothing else, I don't think. Please yeah. believe me. Controversial opinion here, by the way. I always had this opinion. Peanut is definitely the better one out of the two. I'm uh, fucking sorry. Go in the house. Now I got myself a regular customer. Old school nigga. You want me to take him out? As long as she happy, he got his life. 
won't be no strife. And I hope his ass hear me too, nigga. I hear you. Oh, fuck! You know the problem with you little niggas? You gotta learn the difference between guns and butter. Now, what are the guns? The guns, that's the real estate. The stocks and bonds. What's the butter? Cars, clothes, jewelry, all that other bullshit that don't mean shit after you buy it. You little dumb motherfuckers. This nigga come up in this motherfucker doing this shit every night, nigga. That's on the real. What? Wanna take him out? Jody's at Taraji P. Henson house now, and she accusing him of cheating on her again. Where you been since yesterday, knuckle? Let me smell your dick. I know you and Sweet Pea was out doing me and Kim wrong last night. I wasn't doing nothing, girl. Oh, my God. I didn't do nothing last night. I was over at Kim, was playing spades with my nigga P. Nigga, that's your excuse? Did you even hear what she said? I know you and Sweet Pea was out doing me and Kim wrong last night. She said, I know you and Sweet Pea was out doing me and Kim wrong. And your excuse was, nah, I was at Kim's? No, you weren't, nigga. She definitely knows you weren't there. You could have said anywhere else, bro. What is wrong with this nigga, man? I hate you. You selfish, you arrogant, and so stupid. You act like a little boy instead of a grown-ass man. I hate you. We at the smart guy nigga house now, and he don't got no job and shit neither. He living with his girl and her mom is pretty sad. But he do got a Sega Dreamcast though, and ready to rumble boxing. That's good. That's my shit. Except he not really playing it, and he just pretending for the movie. So that's sad. Come on in here, Jody Joe. And I'm in here trying to concentrate. They won't just let a nigga be. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. Want something to drink, Jody Joe? I got milk, water. Let me get you some strawberry soap. Mama, don't say nothing. I'm telling you. Say anything, it's gonna get worse. He about to leave anyway. The nigga from Smart Guy drank way too much strawberry soda and now he all fired up. Fired up? He start having a breakdown. He don't know what he gonna do about his life and he's scared he gonna kill somebody and be a killer like Henry was. He a killer just like Henry was. You know, Henry is a very non-killer name, by the way. Seriously, imagine getting killed by a nigga named Henry. I'd be mad as shit, right? <laughs> <laughs>